Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a funny story time for y'all today, man? But as always, before we get into the video, <clears throat> excuse me, if y'all going to enjoy these story times and y'all want to see more, y'all already know what to do. Like the video, man. So YouTube pushes the content out to more people. And uh, that's all I got. So let's get into the story on how I set my boy up with um with Shorty. And she had a whole last nigga, bro. She had a whole last nigga. And um, I take the blame on this story. I should have did some more research, you know what I'm saying, on the potential prospects. But uh, we're going to get into it. So uh, a while back, like a good little minute ago, I thought I was doing I thought I was doing my boy a good little solid, right? A solid. Right. So I go to set up this double date for me and my boy. Let's just call him Jason. We're going to we're going to keep him anonymous, anonymous. And we're going to call the two girls, Sarah and Tiffany. OK, so now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, to start off, you know, everything was going normal. Everything was going according to plan. You know what I'm saying? I thought I'm like, yes, I'm the perfect. I'm a W man's because I'm putting my boy on to get him some play. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing. So we pull up to this uh little spot for dinner, right? Everything's going great at first. You know what I'm saying? Like cracking jokes. The food's good. Jason is vibing hard with Tiffany. And you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> everything's chilling. So now this is where things start to, you know what I'm saying? Kind of. My, my radar starts going off very, very, very quickly. OK, so um, we're all talking or whatever. We're having a good time. But I just keep on noticing this girl phone keeps on going off. You know what I'm saying? Sarah. So Sarah phones keeps going off. And at first I'm like, OK, you know, who doesn't who doesn't get notifications on their phone? You feel me? But like I'm like this girl is out and her phone is blowing up, blowing up. So I'm like, the only way, the only thing this could be her parents or a nigga. And a nigga is trying to get in contact with her because <laughs> I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga and I know how the game goes. I know how these I know how these hoes be playing in niggas faces. So I'm already knowing. So boom, right there. I'm on alert like. Okay, this might not this might not be what I thought it was. So, okay, let me let me stay on my P's and Q's, right? Here's the thing. Every time her phone would go off, she's acting sus. Like she'll glance at it, swipe the screen, then put the phone down, and now she's acting like nothing happened. And for the most part, like she was doing a good job, but me, I pay attention to everything. So it's like I'm peeping what's going on. And I'm trying to see, like, so ain't nobody, ain't nobody nobody's picking up what's going on and cl and literally nobody else was paying like well i guess it was only my mans and then the other girl but they were just oblivious i guess the girl that i was with and then the the dude that or not the dude the girl that my mans is trying to talk to they they were both oblivious great y'all know me bro i really don't be giving a f i well let me not cuss i really don't be caring bro but at this point like it's hard to not notice you know what i'm saying so i look at my boy jason and i'm like yo I'm trying to give him the signal without saying it because I don't want to I don't want to make it hot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to I'm trying to like, hey, yo, like I'm trying to give him the eyes like, bro, like, hey, man, this ain't this ain't right. This nigga is just giggling, giggling, giggling. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> ain't shit funny. Ain't shit funny. I'm trying to get this man to peep game and lock in. But, you know. You know, that's what the butt does to you. You know what I'm saying? It gets your brain in other places and you're not you're not sharp. Anywho, fast forward, we finish eating and then the girls, they invite, they invite us back to Sarah house to hang out. Right. And I'm like, shit, cool. Goddamn. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe this is this is nothing. And I'm making this up to be a big deal. So I say, cool. You know what I'm saying? Let's you know what I'm saying? Let's do it. So we get to her place. Not even 10 minutes of us being there. Guess whose phone starts going crazy again. Can you take a guess? <laughs> Can you take a guess? If you guess Sarah, you're right. You're right. So Sarah shit, bro, keeps going off, nigga. Calls, texts, nigga, everything. Now I'm like, bruh, like I said, either she's not supposed to be out right now or her nigga or somebody she's messing with knows. They know what type of shorty they got on their hands and they know, man, this girl out here doing something she ain't supposed to be doing. So she, they blowing her shit up. So I'm like, hey, yo, like. Now I'm actually starting to get nervous because I, I know how niggas are. Niggas are ready to crash out over the small. Even if the butt's not even good, these niggas, they don't get no butt. So if they get their hands on one, they have to they have to hang on to it for dear life. Anywho, I pull my boy Jason aside and I'm like, hey, my nigga, I think Shorty has a dude, bro. Like, and I ain't going to lie. I'm like, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. But I think Shorty got a nigga, bro. So 
tread lightly. You know what you you know what this clown says? You, guess what this clown says? Nah, man. She's probably just got her friends hitting her up, bro. We're good, bro. Don't even trip, bro. You're stressing, bro. You're stressing, bro. Just vibe, bro. Just vibe, bro. Just vibe, bro. Dumbest shit I done ever heard in my life, bro. Just vibe, bro. Just just vibe, bro. Come on, bro. We're vibing, bro. You're tripping, bro. Against my better judgment. My better judgment. I say, okay, cool. Great. Great. Because at this point, I'm like, I want to leave, but I can't leave my mans behind. Like, I can't. That's something I will never do. So I say, all right, bet. So we get back to vibing. 10, 15 minutes later, guess what I hear, nigga? Guess what? Banging. Banging. If that if that hurt your ears, now imagine what it sounded like in real life. Imagine what it sounded like in real life. Oh, as you guess, yep. We got this nigga banging at the front door like he's trying to kick this hole down. And guess what? Guess what? Guess who looks at me? Jason. It clicks in his little bitty brain. He looks at me wide eyed and said, you think that's for her? <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I wanted to slap the shit out that nigga, bro. It took everything out of me not to slap the shit out this nigga, bro. Like, bro, we could have been gone. We could have been, we could have been gone. We wouldn't even have been in this situation, bro. Just listen to me, bro. I want what's best for her. I, I literally want what's best for us, bro. But no, bro didn't want to listen. So now I don't know who's on the outside of this door, but he's very adamant about getting into this house. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta assess the situation and, and, and go from here. Anywho, this nigga, he's gonna ask me, you think that's for her? And I'm like, nigga, bro, what nigga, what you think? I'm like, bro, what do you think? I don't, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. And then guess what? Guess what? Guess what little Sarah's gonna say? Guys. And then let me just add, look, guilty as hell. I, I said, I, I knew it. I knew it. So she looking, she's looking guilty as hell. God, um, I think we should, I think we should probably leave the living room. The living room, the living room, girl. I see, and I want to cuss, but I don't even feel like going through the through the through the hassle of cutting it out to get my point across. I said, "Girl, leave the living room. We're about to leave the premises. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. I'm not dying over no butt ever. I will never, ever, 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 ever put my life in jeopardy to get a nut. Crazy work. That's crazy work." You think, and if you think it can't get any, you know, more crazy or any worse, <laughs> you're wrong. It doesn't get much worse, but it gets worse. So before we can even leave, guess what? This niggas, Sarah, Sarah, I know you're in there with a nigga. When I get in there, I'm going to kill all of y'all. Excuse me. What, sir? Sir, sir, we don't need to do that, sir. I uh, sir, I promise we don't need to do that. I'm going to leave here with no problems. I promise you can have her. We didn't even want her for real, for real, bro. She just tagged along, bro. I promise she's yours. You can have her. I swear to God, you can have her, bro. So now everybody is panicking, even though it's only four of us. And imagine panicking, <laughs> imagine panicking silently. You're panicked, but you can't, even though he thinks you're in there or he knows you're in there because he has your location. Great. Oh, by the way. Great. Why are you trying to cheat on your nigga or somebody you're fucking with? And he has your location. What's going on? What's going on? Like, come on, guys. If we're going to cheat, if we're going to be whores, we need to do it better. Get better at it. Like, come on, man. You can't be putting me in or you can't be putting folks in situations like me and my boy was put in because you're not doing your job right. If you're going to be a cheater, be a cheater. Be a pro. Don't be an amateur. We ain't got time for that. Anywho, now my boy's Jason. Everybody's panicking. And I'm just thinking to myself, wow, 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 wow. I tried to tell this nigga the whole time and he didn't want to listen to me. And now we're in this situation. So at this point, I said, whatever happens, happens. Forget it. I don't care. I don't care because I tried to do my part and uh, y'all call me crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? I was over it at this point, for real, for real. But as you probably expected, the nigga kept on banging on the door. He didn't go nowhere. And I'm like, yo, we we can't stay here, bro. Like that, I said, bro, we have to go. We have to go now, nigga. And guess what? Jason, guess what? <laughs> That's why I said this this story, I, I really, I really questioned my friendship with him afterwards. He says, <laughs> you think we can talk to him? You think we can talk him out of it? <laughs> You silly cast. You silly. 
after. <laughs> you think we're gonna you think we're gonna talk some sense to a man that went to a girl's house unannounced and threatened to kill everyone in there? You think we're gonna be able to talk to him? You need help. You need help. And when he asked me that, I really wanted to slap him in his face. Again, I really did, because I said you you can't be serious. We're supposed to be the smart ones in the movie. Why are you, what's wrong with your, like, you need to go get checked out and see if you're really black. Cause the way, the way that you're acting in this scenario, you wouldn't make it in a movie. You, there's just no way. But yeah, buddy over here sounding like he's about to Hulk smash through the door. Like if it wasn't so late, like right now it's like midnight. So it's like, I'm telling this story and I got to kind of be quiet. So I can't like bang on my desk for, you know what I'm saying? Effect. But the nigga genuinely nigga got me stuttering genuinely sounds like he's about to hook smash the door i said bro i said we're gone we're gone we're leaving bro we start going towards the back door bro <laughs> we, <laughs> we start going towards the back door this nigga jason literally trips over the over the chair bro and makes hella noise i'm like oh my god i'm like bro what's wrong with this nigga bro you know real niggas don't die Real niggas don't ever die. You know how they say the cameraman never dies? Real niggas never die. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we um we jump, we go out the back door. <laughs> Excuse me. We go out the back door, hop the front fence, and then we sprint to the car. And I can still hear this nigga yelling. I say, yeah, they're cooked. Like I said, though, we made it back to the car safely. You know what I'm saying? We parked a few, you know what I'm saying? A few houses down because I never trust these hoes ever, ever, ever. And, um, you know, we're chilling, driving back to the crib, you know what I'm saying? Just, just in, sh in awe, shock of what's happened. And, um, uh, my boy's going to turn to me and say, um, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't think Sarah's single. I said, oh, you don't say dipshit, huh? Like, oh my, I was just like, bro. And I ain't even going to lie. I started laughing too. But just thinking about that, right. Even right now, like I'm low key kind of pissed still. Cause I'm like, bro, I tried to warn you. Like I tried to warn you multiple times and you, you, you didn't want to listen to me. So we're in this situation because of you, even though I set you up with her, we're still in this situation because of you. And that's what I call gaslighting 101. <laughs> but yeah, that was the story, man. Nobody got hurt at all, man. Like I said, we got out of the situation very much unscathed, you know, thank God. But yeah, that was the story on how your boy, not even me, how I almost got my boy caught up in some relationship drama. All because your boy was just trying to be a good wingman. That's all I was trying to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to get my boy some butt. That's it. You know, but more of the story is, man, uh, always check for red flags. And if you are checking for red flags or if you notice the red flags, um, go with your gut. If your phone's blowing up, keeps on blowing up, run away. Run, 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 run. So you don't end up like me, man. But um, that's all I really got for y'all today, man. That was the story, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. This was definitely a, a funny experience to look back on. But like I said, if y'all enjoy these story times and y'all want to hear more of those, like the video and comment down below what other story times y'all would like to hear. And uh, when y'all interact with the videos, um, that helps YouTube push the content out more. I'm able to get into their algorithm. And uh, yeah, yeah, YouTube will start messing with me more. So you know what I'm saying? If y'all enjoying these videos, show some love, man. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. And y'all take care.